Uh, so state of robotics in the retail industry is still pretty nascent. We're still in early days for robotics. Of course, if you think about retail, we're talking about three sections of retails here. First is, of course, the role of robotics in distribution centers, you know, in terms of automating the movement of goods between distribution centers to retail stores itself. And I think that's something that's becoming more and more uh, efficient with robotics. Uh, second part where we have seen more and more, I would say, adoption of robotics and retail is back of the house or back of the store automation for large stores, you know, kind of helping to optimize different things in the back of the house. And uh, the third aspect where we have seen robotics that start playing some part is basically in doing kind of inventory data capture within the retail store where multiple robotic technologies are either imaging based or RFID based where robots are able to walk through the store and kind of do the data capture for inventory accuracies. One of the major questions that we get asked or look at pretty much uh, with every retailer is that how do we basically start bringing retail and e-commerce all together as only channel? You know, so many different ways of how we are thinking about retail and e-commerce and the customer finally is thinking about this all as just one thing. They're all thinking in one single way and I think robotics can definitely be a accelerant for, you know, retailers to bring retail and e-commerce to one single omni-channel, you know, kind of converting your distribution centers into omni-channel centers using robotic technologies and similarly kind of being able to uh, do a fair bit of pick pack ship using, for example, pick assist robots within large stores. When you look at the retail industry, people are trying to kind of execute or implement robotics for getting certain outcomes, right? Uh, you know, making sure, for example, your stores are fulfilled always in real time and, and likes of that. There's still a lot of uh, gap between just implementing robots rather than getting real kind of value out of the robot. People are really understanding today that there's a difference between robotic uptimes or real kind of outcomes that they matter. And I think as people are going from that pilot stage to real scale up stage, they are understanding how to kind of create real value out of robotics. You know, on the back of this whole kind of technology evolution that is happening with robotics, it's also now becoming easier to connect these nodes all together, right? Where information exchange between two, a retail store and a distribution center can happen in real time, right? Also basically, only channel execution within the stores can happen in more real time and likes of that. So I think uh, a real time connected network of any inventory nodes is going to give a much better yield out of inventory or gross margins out of your inventory rather than just, uh, you know, I would say separate channels. So Greyhound basically provides a software platform that kind of helps retailers in different inventory nodes. You know, one part of our solution is basically Grey Matter, which is our software orchestration within the four walls of warehouses you know, and helps orchestrate robots, people, IoT technologies and likes of that, focusing on getting fulfillment outcomes out of different kind of robotic technologies. It's hardware agnostic, so we are not kind of sticking to one single robotic technologies. Grey Matter basically is connected to tens of robotic technologies and you can basically kind of operate different kind of automation solutions using Grey Matter. So that is one part of it. You know, today is widely deployed across, you know, multiple fulfillment centers, omni-channel, you know, centers and likes of that. Second part of the solution are retail store platform called G Store, which is all about basically execution and customer experience within the four walls of stores. You know, and, and as we all know, most of the retailers have far more inventory in retail stores than warehouses. And in this omni-channel world, there's a lot of value in looking at all of this inventory in one single view and being able to kind of provide that in real time to their customers. So G Store basically helps pretty much get the customer experience right in the stores, but also converts that store into your micro fulfillment centers where you can do same day, next day deliveries in a, in a very efficient way. So these are two platforms. The third part of our portfolio is what we call as Certified Ranger Network. This is basically a group of robotic and sensing technologies that are, you know, either built by us, but also, you know, built by a lot of third party technologies that we certify on our platform with reliability and safety and likes of that. So at the end of the day, we provide a complete end-to-end -end solution to our customers, whether it can be gray matter on one or many robotic technologies or G-Store and one or many sensing technologies, or even today we are doing 
complete networks where all the warehouses are running on gray matter, all the stores are running on G store, re- interacting with each other in real time and giving like a one single inventory execution system for retailers in only channel world. So that's a little bit about gray orange. So I think from the retail stores perspective, say dire need of retail stores transforming into the new version of omni-channel kind of retail stores where, you know, managed in a very, very different way and, you know, should be live visible to, you know, customers. So today, if you really want customers to visit the retail stores, you got to create a differentiated experience, right? Else it's as good as e-commerce. So, you know, customers being able to view what is live inventory, being able to come in and kind of get more personalized experience, get more digitized experience within the retail stores and to the point where they should be able to request things from the fitting room. They should be able to, I would say, get a styling recommendation and likes of that. And also, how do you free up the time of your store associates from doing all the backend jobs, but to kind of come in and really interact with the customer? Because today when you walk in the retail store, you know, it's almost impossible to find a person and get recommendation or even ask things. So I think there is definitely, you know, a need where retail stores really need to kind of start becoming experience centers for the customers rather than anything else and that would bring only channel view live you know for retailers you know today when i visit some of the retail stores and talk to store associates they are using five or six different applications it really kind of make things a lot more inefficient and likes of that because people were running stores and then they introduced click and collect or pick up in the store and introduce like a completely different app for that and so kind of people are really getting confused in terms of going from one app to other apps so i think there is definitely a strong need of a lot more vertical integration in the software stack where one single platform can kind of start the journey from you know distribution centers to fulfillment centers to retail stores to returns and back so i think we'll see a lot more vertically integrated software stacks coming in the next few years.